that they're not alone and that they need people you know, prepared to stand with them and help them make a stand too. And what is it that your, your ultimate aim is? Is it to make change? Is it to stop these courts or is it to help people? Absolutely. I mean, you know, people, you can look at it in two ways. There's two ways of solving this. You can, you can either put the fire out, out, you know, with things like food banks and you know, some practical help, like, you know, advice centres and stuff like that. But, you know, you've got to look at it. It, 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 needs, to, it needs to be a political change, you know. It, it needs to be, you know, it, it, these... These, these, these cuts to um, social security and the reforms are ideolo I ideology ideological. Yeah, uh, they're being done. They're being done. You know, for political, for political wins by certain, you know, political parties. And it's been been the case since 2010 since you've had the coalition government where uh, people on, you know, we've been receiving social security and been been attacked. And, and it, you know, the only thing that's going to change that is a change, change of government. You know, at the end of the day. And what sort of reaction do you get from people by being here every week, by talking to the people who directly are affected by these cuts, by these benefits? What is their reaction? So who's to, 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 to the situation, they're, they're to in shock. The situation. Well, the situation, they're in shock. They don't, they don't see why it's being done to them, you know. And it's just for some, for a lot of them, it's a shame because it just becomes the norm. You know, and they don't realise that they can actually, you know, try and fight back. I mean, people aren't aware that they can, they can, they can, they can appeal. You take into consideration the amount of unclaimed benefits in this country reaches into the billions. You know, people talk about how many, how much benefit they get claimed fraudulently. You know, it's it's it's, it's, it's infection compared to the amount that people aren't aware of. I think they just, you know, people people aren't sure that they can actually do something about it. Um, when when they when they meet us, they're, they're made up. You know, people people who are on receiving end of these sanctions. That there is people out there. You know, we are prepared to support them and help them get their voice out. And the reaction from the general public is is, is good too. You know, because you, you see a lot of stuff in the right wing media and stuff like that. And if you read stuff on, on Facebook or whatever, you get the impression that people are generally nasty and they're in favour of these kind of things. And they, they do view people on social security as strangers and they agree with with these things. But but when we meet them face to face and we explain it, their everyday situation. Situations, you get a different reaction, you know, and it's a bit more of a human thing that, you know, when you when you take away the influence of the right wing media and the peer pressure and the political stuff, people are nice, people will stand together and help each other and they want to they want to do stuff to make change, like help out in the food bank or, you know, maybe volunteer in a vice centre or, you know, you can just put us up like this on these kind of things just to say, you know,